Warning. Exploring abandoned places is dangerous and not always legal. We do not recommend partaking in these actions. Our videos are for entertainment only and anything you choose to do after watching is done solely at your own risk and responsibility. All right, guys, we're here at another location. Same day, thanks to James and his girlfriend who got, tagged, got me to come along. We're at an abandoned church somewhere in Montreal. I ain't gonna tell you, but, but uh, this place looks huge. Let's check it out, guys. All right, so James and his girlfriend are is gonna check out another place. It looks like they were using this place for storage, the city workers. Um, this place is absolutely huge, and from outside, it's big. So I can only imagine what it looks like inside. So let's go over this way, take the stairs up, and go check out the upper levels. All right, let's go. Well, they definitely have this door chained. Can't come in from that way. Oh, they got a safe. It's actually a safe here, you don't see it. It's locked. And I forgot my light in the car, but I got so excited. I didn't want to miss up an opportunity to get in here. So, well, so hopefully there's enough light through the windows. Go explorers, toilets for you. This place is like really falling apart. I wonder if they're gonna rebuild this or if they're gonna demolish it. And over here we have James. Breaking out the Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> oh, what's this? Another washroom. Please don't throw paper towels in the toilet. It's funny to see English writing. It must have been a, an English church or a bilingual church. There's stairs right here that goes up. The front door is right over here. And then we have two giant star screws wedging against the door to prop from that red door from opening. Because the chains have been taken off. Well, there's the door over here too that has a big chain hanging on it. It's pretty funny. Ooh, what's in here? All kinds of goodies. Stuff I can't see because it's too dark. That's okay, guys. I'm going to take some photos later.
this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, wow. All right, guys, for this, you gotta smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about this place. And also, I'm gonna have James's link in the description below, so don't forget to check out his as well. But this is absolutely amazing, and I had to hold, owe it all to James to, for inviting me and taking me today around some of these locations. But this is beautiful. So I'm gonna check out a couple more rooms here, and we're gonna take some photos over this way. There's also a balcony up here and I'm gonna take a skybox view of this place. All right, so let's go check it out. Oh guys, this is the main part. This is the part you wanna see. Basically, you just asked me about what we're in the basement right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is it. Is there anything in the basement? No, that was just, we just where we just were. Oh, okay, that was the basement. This is the place right here. <sighs> I'll, I'm gonna just record some over here. Wow. Just check around here. I guess this is where they kept their Jackets and stuff. Get the wardrobes for the priests. I should be definitely wearing my mask in here, but like usual, I always forget to bring it with me because I get so excited in these places. Oh, and I just had a big meal before I came here. I was so hungry because my, I didn't eat nothing all day. My sugars got low, but uh, we made it here, guys, and there might be more places coming too. stuff up here because you never know you never know what might find in these places you might find a body or something like that from somebody who might have snuck in and homeless. And of course, it is extremely humid in here because of the heat wave that we're getting today. Let's take a quick look, see what's in these fire cabinets. The glorious work. got the money in it. These ones all got money. Yes, no time for prayer. Okay, let's go take a look at what we came here for. All right.
going to play some uh, church music in uh, D minor. Over here we have the pipes for the organ. A little more of a close-up look here of this beautiful glasswork. This is amazing. Now, I'm not that skeptical. I believe in a little bit about the paranormal, but if there's any ghosts or spirits in this place, attack James, okay? If, I, if he's feeling pain, then I know that there are spirits here. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, Jesus, look at that. <laughs> we still have so much place in here. What's in this place here? Ooh. Another little chapel. This is probably, I don't know, different uh, religion. Do you have multi religions? <laughs> so that's Catherine J. Hamilton, 1835 to 1902. I guess maybe she did that. That piece of glass. Uh, All right, so I'm in another little side room here off from the main church hallway here. And you can see there's a, another organ here. Looks like a simple one, electric. And it looks like there's a little side chapel here. I don't know what this was used for. If you know what this area was used for, just leave me a message in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think this room was used for. Still some very beautiful glasswork. Now James and his girlfriend's up on the next floor. There they are. I see them. I want to go up and take a look. The pipes for the organ. Oh. Wow, there's everything in there. Really? Ooh. Ooh, there's actually a light on in here. We have some electricity, people. Oh, look at this, it's all the pipes. Huh. We got the little tiny pipes. You can actually pull these out. That's crazy. Look, you can pull them out. The little tiny ones. I wish I had my light. I'll make sure that the next video I'm gonna carry my light with me. It's just very suspicious when you're walking around with a full setup in your hand. Please do not store anything in this organ chamber. stuff I've ever done. All right, so got most of this area all covered. Uh, we saw the, the beautiful glasswork. We saw the uh, organ chamber. And over here we saw the kind of a side little chapel. And now we're gonna go up here. Let's go, let's check it out. Oh, we got a 
flickering light. Ooh, what's this? This is a picture of the priest. Who's this guy? Huh. I wonder, is this the church? Where he's at right now? I don't know. I was walking down the stairs and I saw something. I was like, <laughs> somebody's got access. <laughs> Let's go take a couple of bit of video over here of the grass. <laughs> It's getting colder though. Oh yeah. Okay, I was already in here. So we're looking for the basement basement. Did you see this uh, safe over here? Yeah. Uh, was it here, the robe? Good 
space that's just around the corner from the kitchen. Okay. Oh, I would love to have one of these fans. Well, I mean, there's power upstairs. Why not upstairs? Let it run oh, while we're gone. Yeah, halfway in. <laughs> Here's the base. Oh, check out this old oh, stove. Flooded. Oh, flooded. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Right, right in the base. I'm not, I'm not messing around with that. <laughs> right, uh, right as we look at the base. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there anyone coming? <clears throat> well, if you just walk out nonchalantly. Yeah. Like it never happened. <laughs> So that was it guys, we made it in and we made it out. Ah, thanks James, <laughs> no problem. Oh, it looks like it's gonna start raining soon. All right, I'm signing out. Thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to come back and check out more videos here on the Urbex TV channel because uh, we'll have a lot more stuff for you. All right, until next time, happy exploring.